Hello Phoenix teammates, this is Phil Malugin, your founder and CEO. Today we recognize the National Day of Prayer. So a fun fact, did you know that in 1952 Congress passed a law uh, establishing the National Day of Prayer and a favored son of Missouri, President Harry S. Truman, uh, at the time signed it into law. So President Truman's uh, Presidential Museum is in Independence, Missouri. So all of our teammates there in Independence, I know many of you visited the library, it's an amazing place. But why the National Day of Prayer? Well, we had just come out of uh, two world wars. World War I, of course, much earlier in the century, and then World War II. And in 1952, when the National Day of Prayer was instituted, we were in the middle of the Korean War. There were many, many major issues facing the nation. And Congress, and again, President Truman at the time, felt that it was important for the nation to take one day and and have a moment of silence as a national day of prayer. Now, I think that's important. I think it's very good. And I'd like to lead you all today in prayer. And uh, if you would join me, uh, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we come to you and we want to uh, take a moment and thank you for our nation. Thank you for each other. Thank you for our company. Thank you for the good that we do. And God, we think about the significance of this National Day of Prayer. And uh, specifically, God, I ask on behalf of all those praying with me right now, God, that you help bring peace uh, that seem on many fronts to be uh, troubled waters in our nation. God, we know that you hold all the solutions in the palm of your hand. You are the architect of peace and, and God understanding beyond uh, the ability of mere mankind to grasp. God, we ask that the answers come and most importantly, God, I want to thank you for the hope that I have that actually our brightest days are still ahead of us as a nation um, and as the uh, citizens of such a great country, God. I also thank on an individual basis, God, how important this time of prayer is. Each one of us has so many personal issues that uh, could be lifted up right now uh, to you. And, and what's amazing is as uh, collective prayers being lifted all throughout this country today, many right at this very moment, God, you know the prayers of those that are joining me right now in prayer. You know the prayers, the needs that are being lifted up, each individual ones, to think that you actually have the hairs on each one of our uh, heads counted and that each one of us are precious in your sight and you only have good thoughts and you have good plans for each of us God I thank you for the hope and the promise that I see in this God there are some among us that are fighting for their lives uh, even today as we pray and God, we don't fully understand that except that you do have a perfect plan for each of our lives, God, and, and we take comfort in this. And we know that perhaps that promise and, and plan is that we spend more time with you in eternity than here on earth. And for that, God, we um, are grateful. So God, as we close this prayer, I just ask that you bless every one that is joining me today in prayer. And um, God, I just pray that the blessing extends to uh, our families and all of our uh, unique interests and needs and hopes and dreams, God, because you, you truly have, again, the best in mind for all of us. 
and in your precious name we pray. Amen.